Hi everybody, this is Jennifer. I'm coming to you with another sales update video. The first item I have is a Verizon coat. Um, I think, I don't know if these are vintage. It was made in the USA. It's made by King Louis. I got this at Goodwill. Um, it was about, I believe it was about $6. It was a half off. Um, I put it out for $49.99 and I took a best offer of $39.99. And I'm sorry about that, a little slow. All right, the next item I have is an Orvis Sherpa fleece jacket. Um, I picked this up for a dollar, so I didn't even look it up. Um, there was a few of them out. They really didn't sell that great. So I put it out for $21.99 with the best offer. I had it for a few months, I think. And somebody offered me $16 and I accepted it. The next item is a pair of Durango Kids Western Boots. These were at the um, Goodwill. They were $3. And here you go. You want to see the tag? Oops. I accepted a best offer for these for $20. Okay. The next item I have is a Women's Ann Taylor Loft pullover sweater. It's wool and rabbit hair. Um, I paid a dollar for this at the Salvation Army, and I accepted a best offer of $19. Okay, sorry about my computer. <laughs> it's acting very strange. Okay, this is an open knit um long cardigan sweater. It had a southwestern uh, design to it. At least that's what it, the way it looked to me. Um, it's from Norton's Point. It's a it's a vintage piece. Um, I had this for uh, several months. I had it out for $40 because I thought it was a little unusual. I did have some offers and eventually I did accept an offer of uh, $20 and I only paid a dollar so that's okay. All right, this is a Gap Lamb's Wool Cardigan. It has a zipper front. Um, I got this at the Salvation Army for a dollar. Um, it's this lavender color. Every time I pick up something that's lavender, it sells right away. I don't know if this is a coincidence, but uh, the few things I've gotten that have been lavender from bras to tops, people like that color, I think. Um, I picked up for a dollar and it actually sold for the price I had it out for $24.99. Okay, this was actually kind of funny. Um, okay, I don't know if any of you have ever experienced this. Um, have you ever gone um, to Goodwill or Salvation Army and there just happens to be another reseller who thinks you are in the spot where, where everyone should be, that you're going to find that thing and that they have to get there before you? I had one the other day, he was following me all over the place. And whenever I went to a shelf, he was there, he was reaching in front of me. And by the time I changed my position for the third time and he wound up right next to me, I was just like, okay. You know, I looked into the shelf and I just grabbed the first thing I could see, like it was the best thing ever, like it was gold. And I grabbed it and kind of hid it in my hands. It was like, ooh, so exciting. And I threw it in my basket. He was like looking longingly <laughs> into my basket trying to figure out what I got. And I, I didn't know what it was. I, I just saw that it was brass, but I really didn't see what it was. So I walked away and I, I eventually I actually looked at it and it was a it was this and it was a dollar. And it was like this little brass dish. And I wound up looking it up on uh, eBay and I found the exact same one. <laughs> it had sold for $25 and I'm like, well, I felt like I should go back and thank him for following me around. And uh, I put it on, I put it out for $26.99. And uh, within, I think it was a day, somebody offered me $20 and I accepted it. So if you see these little vintage brass dishes, and when you do list them, list what they potentially could be, because potentially it could be a soap dish, it could be a trinket tray, ash tray. Put all those things in your title because um, there's a lot of different people that would like this one thing. All right. All right, Lululemon. Now, if you don't know about this brand, you should. <laughs> it, the one thing about it, um, 
I had to find out how to find it because um, it doesn't ever say Lululemon. It shows you, unfortunately, this is so dark, it kind of blends in with the background, but can you see that little mark that they put on it? That's the only thing that's going to tell you what it is. So take a good look at that. Um, that's Lulu Lemon's like trademark. So when you see that, that's a piece and it's really expensive, expensive stuff. Cause like, look at this little top and it's used and I put it out for, um, $40 and what did it sell for? Oh yeah. And I accepted a, a best offer of 30, you know, now when I put stuff out with a, a best offer, I used to just, um, put it out with the best offer uh, and I didn't put like right underneath that it says what is the best offer basically that you will accept because this way it will automatically accept anything so if you say well I'll accept everything that's $30 and higher you can put that in there and this way you don't have to go in and accept it manually um, and that's really a great thing I think that's really good um, because it saves you time and also too they're right on the computer it automatically accepts it and then they can pay right away otherwise you might not see it for an hour depending on what you're doing so uh but what i do not do is the next thing that's under that it says um automatically decline now i never do that because i like to talk to them if they're making an offer and they're interested in your item you really do want to kind of talk to them because they're already interested. So even if they're making a ridiculous offer, I'm always like, you know, hey, you know, thank you for your offer, no matter how ridiculous it is. And um, unfortunately, we can only accept uh, a minimum of this amount and, uh, and thank them for their interest. Because I would say about one out of every five offers, when I counter offer, they accept it. So don't think they're ever being too ridiculous. It might just be their personality. If they if you have something offer 40 and they offer you five dollars and you counter offer 25 don't be overly shocked if they accept it I, I mean i've had that happen so you know definitely talk to them okay so back to this um i purchased this for full price i think it was about five dollars i think at the salvation army and um i took a best offer of 30. So, and also if you want to sit on it for a little while, I mean, this sold like within a week, you probably could even get 40 for it. Okay, this is just a pair of jeans. Um, I didn't even look it up. I thought the tag was kind of interesting. It was only a dollar. So I picked it up, Cavaricci jeans. I haven't heard of them, but um, I picked them up for a dollar and they sold for $20. Okay, this is a Chico's, um, Chico's uh, black diamond quilted line jacket. Chico's sells pretty well. I would definitely, you know, pick it up. I happened to get this for a dollar, but it, if it was half off, if it was uh, three or four dollars, I would have picked it up as well. Um, I had it out for 30 and I accepted a best offer of $22. And this is just a Pink Floyd t-shirt. This is not a great Pink Floyd t-shirt, obviously. Um, I had it out for $14.99, and even though it's not reflecting it, I uh, did accept a best offer of $12. I only paid a dollar for it, and I had it for a few months. And sales have been a little slow, so I, $12 is fine. I think I made 5 or $6 because it shipped first class mail anyway. Okay, this I had forever. This is when I picked toys up at Target. Um, I picked this up as well and i just sat on it forever and i just accepted a best offer i think i paid like four or five dollars for it at target um on clearance and i accepted a best offer of 19 and i didn't look where it was going it was going to puerto rico and it cost a, a lot it cost like uh where is that it cost 12 dollars to ship <laughs> so i just kind of broke even on this but i was so happy to see it go so i was fine with it Okay, this is a London Fog, a men's London Fog, a cardigan sweater. Um, there's a tag. Anything vintage London Fog, it, it's not the greatest seller, but it sells pretty well. Um, I put it out for $35. Um, I had it on sale and I took a best offer of $25 and I only picked it up for a dollar. But again, this is something I pick up 
half off as well, like three, four dollars. Okay, this, oops, let's get a better look. Okay, Ralph Lauren um, loafers. Normally, uh, you see I had it for $40. This is when I first started getting into shoes. I was like, oh, so excited, Ralph Lauren loafers, this should go well. But I didn't know what I was looking at because there was no size in them. And that's kind of a big deal. You know, I'm pretty sure they were a 10. Um, the guy isn't upset and he has the item, so maybe I made the right guess. But I had them for months and months and months because people do not want to get an item where you are guessing on the size. So make sure when you're buying shoes that you look and make sure that it's not so worn on the inside that you can't read the size. Um, but eventually, what did I take an offer of? $25. So I believe I paid five. Yep, I paid five for them and I sold them for $25. If you have the size, you can sell them for closer to $40 at least. Okay, this is a pair of Clark's Bendables uh, mules, basically, clogs. Um, Clark sells very well. Um, it's one of those things that sell well, it looks like around the $30 range used. Um, I'm sure there are some that sell for more, but you know, stuff like this around $30, $30 to $40. Um, I picked this up, they were only $4, and I got, I don't know, they didn't even ask for an offer. They paid $35 for them. And let me see, I don't know if it shows you. Yeah, there you go. All right. You know, what was interesting about this is it was super light. I have no idea what the soles were made of, but they felt like air. <laughs> they were really nice. If they were larger, I would have kept them. Okay, this is an Eddie Bauer raincoat. Um, it was only a dollar at the Salvation Army. I put it out for $28 and I accepted a best offer of $20, which was fine because it fit into a padded envelope and I only paid $5.90 to ship it. Okay, this is a Run DMC t-shirt, um, but it wasn't really vintage. It wasn't old enough. It wasn't like an original Run DMC. I picked it up. This is when I first started doing clothes. So I've had this for a while. And I only had paid a dollar for it. And eventually it did sell for $8.99 plus $3.50 shipping and handling. Okay, this was great. Uh, it must have been sitting in Salvation for at least a month and nobody touched it. It's a 3XL Harley Davidson motorcycle shirt from Reno, Nevada. And it was so clean. It looked like it was brand new. It was really nice and a great size. And um, I put it out for... $35 and I had to automatically accept uh, any offer that was above 25 and uh, somebody offered me 29 and it automatically accepted it. Okay, the last item I have is a men's Adidas a track jacket. Anytime you see the Adidas with the three stripes, you know, as long as it's clean and in good condition and men's especially, uh, they sell really well. So if you see this, definitely pick it up. I just happened to get it at the Salvation for a dollar, but I would have paid five or six dollars at least for this. Um, I had it out for $33.99. I did have a best offer on it, but they didn't ask for one and they bought it for $33.99. Okay, that's all I have for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope your sales are going great and I will see you next.